I'm going to show you how to find inverses with the TI-84 calculator. It is so easy to do. We're going to start with this example here. Now, if you were doing this by hand, you would take this matrix and you would augment it. This is not what we're doing with the identity matrix. If this is what you're looking for um, to row reduce this guy by hand, go ahead and take a look at the video that I've got here on the screen, and it's also posted in my description. Um, we're not going to augment it, though. Instead, we're just going to put it right into the calculator and ask for the inverse. Let's go ahead and get started. I've got two examples here. In the first example, we want to find the inverse of this matrix A. It is a three by three matrix because I've got three rows and three columns. I'm going to put this into my calculator. I'm going to start by going to the matrix menu and input the matrix. Then I'll go ahead and take the inverse. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go second and then matrix. I want to do an edit because I'm inputting the entries and I'm going to go ahead and edit matrix A. I can change the dimensions of this. I want to change it to a three by three. So I'm going to go three, enter, three, enter, and then the calculator gives me the correct size. Let's go ahead and put the entries in. I'm going across the row, hitting each number, and then the enter key. To get a negative in, I use the little negative down by the enter. So negative two starts the second row, five, enter, and then three, enter. And then finally, the last row, zero, enter, again, negative down by the enter sign. Oh, and I want negative 19, not negative 18, enter, and then negative eight. So I've got this in here as matrix A. I'm going to ask the calculator for the inverse of matrix A. Let me quit here. So I'm going to go second and then quit. I want to go back to the matrix menu and grab that calculation. So I'm going to go back to my matrix menu. The first thing that I want to do before I do the inverse is to go ahead and choose my matrix. And then I'm going to ask it for the inverse. So I'm going to go ahead and choose matrix A. I'll hit enter. And I want the inverse of matrix A. All I need to do is to use the X to the negative one key here in that first column. So I'm going to go ahead and do it to the negative one. This is my inverse symbol. And I go ahead and hit enter. And there's the inverse of the matrix. So, so super nice and super easy. Let's go ahead and put this one into matrix B. I'm going to multiply those two together, and then we should get the identity matrix back. I'm going to hit my store key, and then I want to store it into, let's go second, matrix, and I'm going to choose matrix B to store this into. Okay, so I've got that stored into matrix B. Going over here, A times A inverse should be equal to the three by three identity matrix. So if I put these two in, I should get the identity. Let's go ahead and multiply these two matrices together. I'm here in the home screen. I'm going to grab my matrix name. So I want to do matrix A times matrix B, which is the inverse. So second matrix, and then I'm going to grab matrix B, enter. Okay, and there we are. So we went ahead and verified that this is in fact the identity matrix. Next, I want to show you an example of one that gives you decimals back, and I'm going to show you how to convert those decimals into um, fractions. So a really, really nice way to work with one with decimals. Before we get to that example, if you're enjoying this video, please take a moment to click like. Give me any comments or questions down in the comment section below. The more likes, the more other people are shown this video. Let's go ahead and get into the second example. This one's going to have fractions when we're done. I want to go back into the matrix menu. I'm going to go ahead and edit matrix A and put the entries in for my second example. I'm just going to enter through and change these entries. So the first row is two, enter, four, enter, one, enter. And then the second row is zero, one, two. So zero, one, and two. The third row is zero, zero, and two. Okay, again, I just want to go to the home screen. So second quit. I'm going to go ahead and grab matrix A. So second matrix. I'm going to grab matrix A and ask for its inverse. So I'm going to go second, 
oh, not seconds. I'm just going to grab the inverse, which is this button right here, and then hit enter. And I end up with this. I could just convert these pretty easily, but I want to show you how you can take an answer with decimals and easily convert it. So I'm going to choose the math menu and I'm going to go convert to fraction. So now it says, what's your answer converted to a fraction? You hit enter and it changes those entries into fractional form, just in case the answer that you wanted was in fractional form. Again, click like, give me any comments or questions down below, and thank you so much for watching.